There are duties of a members of parliament to be in parliament. And when this just a question issues came up, it was established that the NDC took a strategy by saying they're not going to come to parliament. So it is the stance of the NDC against the stance of we the majority. The majority of parliament is com committed to come into the plenary and you can see that we've done that. The NDC strategy is to use this as a bargaining chip for us to put on the stance in terms of the court proceedings but that is the rule of law and we cannot interfere. Baumia as a person has been a vice president who has carried himself well within the fourth republic, has made good gains and is working assiduously to become the president. The MPs from Ashanti region were with Baumia are back to parliament. So it has nothing to do with MPs following Baumia. For instance, I'm a strong supporter of the vice president, but I've not followed the vice president. I've still left the vice president to go on his own campaign and still be committed to my work. So NDC's strategy of trying to tie everything to Baumia is a signal that we always use that, is a signal that Baumia is a threat to John Mahama. And I'm telling you this on authority, the last time I told you that President uh, uh, sorry to say, Vice President Baumia, inshallah, by 26th of August, you will see the signal when we do the special voting. He's somebody who doesn't like to attack people, and that is how come he's called decorum to his communication team to issue a statement that we should be decorous in our statement. We are one party. We shouldn't let it be like it's a fight. And I know at the end of the day, with the temperament of Vice President Baumia, MPP will break the eight, beat John Mahama, and will be the next government of the